And he was looking to just head it back across the face of goal for a tap-in. Didn't quite work out that way. He doesn't have the range to be next to Jermaine Jones and cover that space. So I think Danny Williams is in a better spot next to Jermaine Jones. And Jurgen made that assessment and made that substitution. Brazil have Neymar on as well. Recognized Israel with the number 10 shirt on, the iconic number 10 of Brazil as worn by. And he only got eight minutes against Costa Rica and he's getting 45 this time. And here they come again with Marcelo breaking. And Guzan is Neymar's has stepped out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just that Neymar then to come in. It's interesting, Yedlin's played more games for the USA over the last year than any other player. Now Harry Saint-Germain, look at that for a pass. How about that? Cameron was out of position, Neymar behind him of all people. Goes down, penalty. Referee had no doubt about it. I mean, you're talking a ball over 55 60 yards on an absolute dime with Jeff Cameron out of position. And now the question is, is Michael Roscoe screaming at the top of his lungs to get Jeff Cameron back into position because Neymar is still from him. And he got there via the fingertips of Guzan, who's beating the turf almost in frustration because he nearly saved that goal number Brad Guzan does a wonderful job of holding his ground reading it and any goalkeeper will tell you a so goals early in the first half and now early in the second half for the Brazilians who are on easy street two veterans that slot right into this back four Neymar towards the back post and you can see Bobby Wood Fabinho Rather too easily nicked it away from him. Is this a damage limitation job now? Stadium than any other footballer ever. Taylor Twelman. 57 you got. Did you know that? He's just pushing it around and doing almost as they please. I want to say by 37 goals to 11. Going back over all the uh, the meetings. Just that one USA win. The ninth. Sucks for Brazil coming up shortly. Tell you about those as and when they happen. Neymar, Marcelo, Muscle. The Brazilians are able to break it all up. Look at Lucas Moura here, and there might be something by way of the third goal. And yes, there is. Alvarado, Roscoe, are you organizing your back line? Danny Williams can't get any pressure on the ball. And then this is just something special from Rafinha. Because at the World Cup level, these are the teams you have to play. Eventually, yeah. Get that far. In the grand scheme of things, the Belgians, Colombia's, Brazil's of the world, that's who you need to beat. A dissolving defense there. More of to Neymar. He surely won't mess it up. He doesn't usually. He hasn't. Neymar, his second of the night. And the USA here are being taken apart. That's going to remain in their mouths for a month before this Mexico game, October 10th. Look at how easy it is for the United States to lose their markers, to lose possession in the midfield, and then just have three, four, five yellow shirts running around. Look at how easy that is for Neymar. It's one cut, no defender around him. Pride dictates that uh, they at least make some kind of argument. And worth keeping abreast of the developing narrative in MLS. <laughs> Neymar, quite a combination down that left hand side to do with. Him. Here he is, Neymar going through his party piece. In light of that, now then, this is tailor made for the left foot of Bobby, Marcelo Bobby, from that angle. But of course, Neymar might pull rank the captain because he can do something really from any angle he chooses. It is Neymar. Oh, I tell you what, wow, Brad Guzan was glad that rattled into the side netting. I'm, I'm not sure he'd have got there.
I mean, that's one of the most, that's actually the most difficult spot to hit a free kick up and over the wall and get it to dip on goal. <laughs> Spies Marcelo's arriving here. You wonder what's going to happen next, don't you? That time they come here, they're playing out of position then. His Neymar, he wants a hat trick, I bet now. And so that's what he has. U.S. trying to keep up their record of scoring in every game since the World Cup. The this is just a friendly. I think it, I, you're putting me on the spot. I think we're getting there. And I'm going to use the words again, tipping point. You and I were part of the snow game in Costa Rica. The momentum was building after losing in Honduras the first World Cup. Blows early for time. Exactly the same scoreline as when the teams last met.